gonna make use of this mouse pad at some point today. YOLO BITCHES! Oh just god. Marcus, Marcus, there it is! Right. Right. It is right there. <laughs> Wait, no, We're the 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 <laughs> And welcome to a spooky edition. Super spooky. No, welcome spooky. to our second Halloween episode, even oh, though Halloween was last week Thursday. How are you doing? Well, it's our second horror-themed episode. Oh, wow. Fine. It's a spoopy and episode. You're done. You're done. Don't you dare. You're basic. <laughs> Don't you <laughs> fucking dare. Hi, <laughs> gang. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> So, right. welcome to Guess the Metascore 13 Spooks Edition. Wait, hold up. Intro. Oh. It's time for America's favorite game show, where the scores don't matter unless they do. <laughs> Guess that Metascore! Okay. Welcome to Guess the Meta Score 13 Spooks Edition. Yay. Yeah, Spooks, Spooks. Hey. This... I swear it was Spooks. spooks. Uh, as you it's can hear, spooks. Juanita is here again this week. Hi. Um, I don't know how we convinced her to come help, back. And with her help, I'm going to reclaim my unbroken score. Well, no, you can't. Unbroken. Yes, I can. No, you can't. <laughs> if you can't I put win, that back I get to control the narrative. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. I'm sorry. Yes, I can, and I will. History is not written by the victors. It is written by those who edit the podcast. Damn. <laughs> I thought it was written by Dwight the D. Eisenhower, right. editor of the podcast of the Second World War. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You need me a copy of all of them. It is Welcome no. to the Hitler did nothing wrong cast. Oh god! Oh, wow. Marcus. <laughs> no. We're, we're how long into this? Jesus Christ. That's gonna be a record. It's good Marcus. to get that no, out of You know way, it's though. not a record. You know we've pushed record before and Marcus has <laughs> gone full Marcus. I know. Uh, I like to dream, Jason. But the fans love it. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> this is yeah, actually a level of six. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, this, 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 we don't do this podcast for the critics. We do it for the fans. We do it for the fans. <laughs> DC style. <laughs> Everyone knows it's Marcus. I watched that yesterday. I love that episode. <laughs> no, no, you Everyone gotta knows Let me check my list. I watched that. Me. <laughs> like, literally last night while I was walk walking Rupert, I was watching it. Aww. I love it. So, we're doing another guest at Mezcore. We're going to do prices Right Rules Closes. again. So, I like where prices. did you find this list of movies, Marcus? This list of... 13 spooky movies. Ooh, that's ooh. a scary number. That's a scary number. Oh, that's a scary 666. With hey. a, a few too many to put on. Yeah. It's from my list of... We could have done a marathon. Should now be rapid fire. 31 horror movies that I watched during the month of October. How did you watch 310 horror films this year? Yeah, 3,100. Yeah. 3.1 movies. Yeah. <laughs> the, and those were all achievable goals. And I did them... <laughs> Oh, Marcus, you're a Which is better hero. than me. Well, I set myself this, the same challenge. This is future you, so you don't know future you. Yeah. Future yeah. me future may you have, have done it. Up. Yeah. Future me, you better have caught up. I also, have faith write in your goddamn you. thesis. <laughs> <laughs> now it's really spooky as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I am the ghost of the Because it's going to be looming, because you know when you hear this one, you're going to hear you saying that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you the title of the movie, a small synopsis as listed on Metacritic. Uh, so we're going to interrupt you. Four of us, we're going to split into two teams. I'm getting to that. Okay. Sorry, I'm. St you're the host for this episode. Yeah, they're oh, gonna stop, stop it, Jason. Stop hitting me with the mouse pad. Don't. You gotta mm. throw it. You Don't know the rules. rules. You, know, you yeah. gotta throw it. You know the rules. Okay, I'm gonna throw it at you. Don't, it. Right. Don't hit Don't the stop hit the behind. Stop behind. <laughs> <laughs> Caught it this time. So, I'm very impressed. We're gonna okay. have two teams as Jason interrupted. Do, do, do we have team names? Should we come up with team names? Team names. Uh, Dion and Jason. <laughs> Go huh. before them. <laughs> you can't take that name now. <laughs> we should pick something ridiculous like the Killer Tomatoes or something. We're not the revenge of the Killer Tomatoes. Perfect. All right, so we have Jason and Dion, or is it Dion and Jason? It d depends on, yeah. on you, I guess. Mm -hmm. it, a dealer's choice. Like my gender Jason identity. And Dion. Yeah. We have, yeah. Jason, we have Jason, Jason and Dion Jason versus... Jason and Dion has a better yeah. meter to it. Jason Dion versus Revenge of the Killer Tomatoes. On this episode of Guess That Metascore, I will give you the title. Who wins? Whoever scores, whoever guesses the closest Metascore nice. Nice, gets nice, the nice. point. Nice, nice, nice. If okay. you get it on the dot... Two points. Two points. Okay. And a hand job from Marcus. That's a basketball. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Let, 
That's a bo- that's a home duck. Oh, wait, that's hold on. Duck. Phones on the table, people. We can't be googling this shit. Uh, I am it, setting up a note. So you're talking can... to to people who like get angry when they're sitting at a restaurant <laughs> and other people are doing a pub quiz that they, the table, aren't One involved table. with, and get actively furious when they see other people on their phones. Yep, we're the last people you need to worry okay. about. Yeah, it's I fucking horrendous. Well. Like, oh. I we live in a society. That's a, that's a good yeah. thing I had all those this meat and sauces This phone lives in a society. Yeah. Exactly. What? So your phone's the Joker. Your phone is the Joker. <laughs> your phone's an incel. My look. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got three bars of inside service. Swish. <laughs> 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 okay. So, I'll give you the title, a synopsis as it was written, we probably by the marketing department. We will inevitably interrupt that. Synopsis. Like right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, it's once again a running gag. And I'll so give whenever you... Marcus starts talking, you just... Yeah, yeah but let's listen to him first. And, uh, if you I just keep interrupting him, you'll never get the episode done. <laughs> and I'll give you a quote from a review... Uh, well, from a v- reviewer from a site. Rad. Which site? A Various site. sites. Okay. I will list which website when applicable. Okay. 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 Let's go. So, we're starting so let's off... get it started! Yeah, no, let's no, go! I have, no, no, I have to edit, don't do that! Oh shit, okay, cool. <laughs> the first Sorry. one up... For interrupting you, will be sorry. What? <laughs> That's rude. That's, That's right, very rude. You're a guest. Wow. <laughs> You're you come the into my house. <laughs> crawl from 2019. Oh, oh, I love I crawl. Crawl was so fucking good. We gotta go it was hundred. Out of yes, yeah. it's out yeah. of a hundred. It's a meta score. Oh, a meta score. Yeah. I, I never made a score I didn't my like. Brain yeah. Just dumbed. Yeah. Oh no, we don't trust uh, IMDb. Yeah, because IMDb is suspect. Because IMDb is voted on by the people. <clears throat> oh no, the so, people are the worst. This is a documentary, actually, I think. Yes. Because yeah. yeah, I mean, Florida. just read by the. It's Florida. Yeah. They just when let a, a camera loose in Florida. Yeah, when a massive hurricane hits the hits her Florida hometown, Haley ignores evacuation orders to search for a missing father, finding him gravely injured in the crawl space of their family home. Get it? Crawl space. Oh the two become trapped by a quick by quickly encroaching floodwaters. As yes. time run time runs out to escape the strengthening storm, Haley and her father discover that the rising oh, water levels if only she is really the least swimmer. of if, their if fears. Only she were an apex predator. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that. <laughs> we say Gee. 68. Yeah, well, 68. We still need a review. Well, we had yeah. to Marcus already, so ha. Huh. Oh, damn it, that means you're already one point ahead. <laughs> yeah. Owen Gleiberman for Variety wrote, Crawl has no pretense and uh, not very much range. It's Jaws set in an old dark house. Okay. Which, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, and I'm, what's fun I'm about perfectly it. fine with that. Yeah. It's a fucking... It's 80. <laughs> Visual gag. Um. What did you really? guys say? No. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll go with your. I'll go with your gut on this one. If you also say sixty-eight, okay. Revenge of the Killer Tomatoes has guessed sixty-eight. Jason and Dion, what is your guess? Uh, we are gonna it's... go with fifty-nine. Mm, that's a good guess. That is, that a, is good a good, good guess. guess. Because Jason and Dion get a point. The meta score for Crawl is 60. Oh, oh whoa. Whoa. good job. Oh, yeah. nice. 70, but only because I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, no, I thought Morally. the popular consensus was higher. On yeah, yeah. No, I mean, enjoyable and good are two separate things. Fair. That's true. That's why you trust the, the, the critics and not the audience, because the audience goes on enjoyment, not how good it is. Mm. And they're mostly idiots. Mm. They are yeah. mostly idiots. I mean, yeah, it's a, it probably is a 6 out of 10 movie. Yeah. yeah. It but it's enjoyable as hell. I yeah. love Apex Predator! Apex Predator! It, it, it so 110% succeeds in what, what it's trying to do. Yeah. Therefore, exactly. it is a 9.9 9 out of 10. Yeah, which is the highest, highest score, highest score, score, you highest can score have. physically yeah. possible. Yeah. We know this. We know this to the be The Polish true. told us. <laughs> <laughs> they know what it means. <laughs> Oh, I love that review. <laughs> oh, oh, just remind me to show her. Yeah. yeah, it's really good. I will. You'll get context. It'll be better. So, okay. Next up, another release from this year, Midsommar. Oh. Mm. That's mm. I, uh, Danny and Christian are a young American couple with a relationship on the brink of falling apart. Thomas but just told he's already seen the family tragedy. 
keeps them together, a <laughs> grieving Dennis face. <laughs> invites herself wow. to join Christian and his friends on a once in a lifetime midsummer festival in a remote Swedish oh, village. Where the name comes from? <laughs> what begins as a carefree summer holiday in a land of eternal sunlight takes a sinister turn when the insular villagers invite their guests to partake in festivities that render the pastoral paradise increasingly unnerving and viscerally disturbing. What a insular? Lovely, what a lovely delivery. Insular, insular yeah. or I mean, insular? You throughout the whole thing. Oh, yes. Very rudely. Insular. Yes. Okay, so they're not I a bunch of I mean, insults. Just, no. no, you weren't interrupting him, you were just talking separately yeah, from you, him. Yeah, you can't talk while Marcus is talking. You have to stop him talking <laughs> with your words. Yes, is that the etiquette? That yeah. is the etiquette. Good. Okay, right. noted. We'll do that in the future. Thomas, you've been here for 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 well over a year now. I have, and it Thank feels you. like so much longer. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like you've been here from the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. All right. So many great. things are possible, but the surest is that there's nothing else like it at the movies. John Anderson for the Wall Street Journal. That's a terrible review. We say seventy-two. Oh, wow, I just whispered 73 to him. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Go ahead, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Attack Revenge of the Killer Tomatoes oh, gets two points oh. for nailing it. 72. Well remembered, Thomas. Yeah, I saw him whisper it to it. He's like, I know what it is. <laughs> I checked it out because I worked over Metacritic. I'm just oh. tracking my Mr. Delivery order. Yeah, sure you are. Sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's the one who's like, everyone else put your cell phone We've changed our table. team name to definitely not cheating. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I've I, changed I trust your you team lot. name to the Sneaky Googlers. No, I trust you a lot more I now. actually like that. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. they're definitely not cheating. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The, okay, cool. The clue's in the name. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I interpreted it. Like, that I, is, I that's it. foreshadowing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Right. So, yeah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marcus. Give We're it to us. We're all competing for the same Round jokes. three. I, I, was, I was so fucking it's close, though, with first. 73. You were. I'm I was. I'm more I'm impressed that you were that close to yeah. the top man. Tom is yeah, getting a lot of money. No, but he's definitely not cheating, so how? <laughs> <laughs> but how? All right. Give us no the next phone, one. No the phone. Phone. Round three. <laughs> Silent Night, Deadly Night, oh. from 1984. Ha, you don't know this one, Thomas. After his parents were murdered, oh, a tormented teenager one. goes on a murderous rampage. It's, it's Snyder Batman. Dressed as Santa. Snyder Batman. Mm. Due to his stay... Wait, sorry. <clears throat> Let me reread that with more Oof. vigor. After his parents were murdered, a tormented <gasps> teenager <laughs> goes on a murderous Thanks. rampage dressed as Santa due to his stay at an orphanage where he was abused by the mother superior. We now know mm. him as the Joker. Yes. <laughs> no Murray for the <laughs> AV Club wrote, In nearly every way, Silent Night, Deadly Night is as run-of-the-mill a slasher film as the 80s produced. Enjoyable today primarily for its catch value. Mm. Mm. Based on that, we vote 55. Mm. Mm. So are we going to go higher than that or lower than that? I was thinking around 60 because it's older and they tend to be more lenient. But yeah. What do you think? Uh, I'll you you have you. better instincts with this than I do. Uh, I'll, I'll defer to you. You were one off last time. With a full white scene. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, well, let's say 60. Yeah, okay, so Jason and Dion guessed 60 and definitely not cheating. We're 55. <laughs> Technically, definitely not cheating are closer. The meta score is 31. <laughs> you you oh were God. super right. <laughs> you, oh, were, shit. You, she was saying, like, no, no, no lower. Bad. <laughs> Damn it, I haven't seen that one. Wait, you, you saw the film? That's cheating! <laughs> no, you're definitely not cheating! Yeah. Oh, Marcus, Stop you watched all of these films. Yes. How was that movie? It is. Is that accurate? Look. It's, it's enjoyability-wise. Yeah, like enjoyability, it's right up there with something Actually, like Chopping Mall. I watched oh, I Chopping, Mall Chopping Mall recently Chopping Mall's again. Oh. Marcus, seeing as you have actually watched all of these movies, you should, you should give a little opinion of your own. Yeah. But that might give away, hmm, nothing. <laughs> After, maybe after we yeah. after you give us the answer. Yeah. 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 You can, tell, can, you can tell us how in line it is with your yeah. experience. Yeah, I, I can do that. I can do that. So with Silent Night, Deadly Night, like, I kind of loved it 
because it's because such it's a bad. kitschy bad time. But that's I mean, purpose. it takes forever to get going, but mm. once it like the kid like loses his mind and starts slashing people, it's fucking great. Mm. It's just like it's like straight up like 80s slasher oh, super it's solid terrible. stuff. I love it. <laughs> it's terrible. It Fantastic. really is. What's next? Round four. Bing, bing, bing. Lost House on the Left from 1972. Ooh, from 1972, you said. The say. original. Two teenage girls head to a rock concert for one's birthday. While trying to score marijuana in the city. <gasps> whoa! Whoa! No wonder they, they, yeah, they got work scoring marijuana. Yeah, they What's are next? kidnapped and brutalized by a gang of That's psychotic of escaped convicts. Seriously though, it's the question what comes next after blank scoring marijuana? I don't know. You get you get abducted. You, you get the vapors. Ah yeah. uh, classic. Yeah. <laughs> the vapors. <laughs> and staff not credited. My favorite reviewer for TV Guide wrote <laughs> an, <laughs> an ugly, disturbing, passionately conceived cult favorite. Last House on the Left is much more complex, albeit crudely made, than its controversial reputation would suggest. Eighty four. 90. Definitely. I remember seeing that. 90 for sure. <laughs> One higher than what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> we say 63. Yes, you guys are fucking assholes. <laughs> Dio's like, let's say mid 60s. <laughs> As I say, mid 60s. Oh, 63! <laughs> oh, 63! 63! So, we'll go mid 50s. Fine. We'll go mid 50s. Ah, will you? 58. I'll go mid summer. How so? What? <laughs> You're all gonna die. <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> all right, Marcus. Can I be the one in the bear suit? Okay. Yay! As the only like woman-esque thing here, I will be May Queen. It's fair. Anyway, Jason and Dion guessed fifty-eight. Definitely not cheating. Guessed sixty-three. Definitely not cheating. Get the point. Damn it! I forgot the to score. get the points. Oh no! We're losing. The meta score is 68. I should have gone with my gut. Yeah, you should have. Why did I listen to you? You so long in the mirror saying out random numbers between 1 and 100. <laughs> Damn it, I should have stuck with my gut. All guns. your training out the window. And for my Wait, money, are yeah. you secretly on their team? Ooh, like, track your driver now. That's how we secretly yes. so it's, That's Lost. the third one that they've won. Yeah, but yeah. they've got four points. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because yes. we got one exactly and we've got right. One point. Yes. yes. Like Lost House on it's the like Left from 1972 holds up. Yeah, it does. Ridiculously and it had a, well. It was panned by the critics initially, yeah. and it's had a bit of a revival. What I will say though is what we were saying earlier is the the remake is actually pretty decent in that I feel like it sexualizes the girls less. Like, okay, yes, I know the director's gonna do that. Mm -hmm. It's the 70s, but like, so it's less victim blamey. Yes, mm. only slightly. Here. Yeah. yeah, no, the remake or the original remake. <laughs> remake. Yeah. The Unlike original... the remake of I Spit on Your Grave, which was mm. a victim blamey piece that of shit. That was really weird to watch. I did not enjoy that. They made three, do you know that? I yeah. know. What? They made they three should've... remake. Well, no, they, they remade I Spit on Your Grave, and then they made two sequels. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's fucking weird. Yeah, they basically blame her, and, like, the the it's very sexualized and uncomfortable, and, like, ugh. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Jason quietly feel, makes a note for himself. Like, Lost House on the left is honestly a very strong showing for a debut director. Yeah. As oh, well. Wow. It's Wes Craven's directorial <laughs> debut. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you should yeah. have known that. I would have adjusted the score then. You did adjust the score. <laughs> but I would have adjusted it up, not oh, down. Oh, yeah. Why? I mean, what? at that time, Wes Craven was an untested quantity. Yeah, but yeah. we know You're an untested afterwards. quantity. Yeah. It's called foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> Do it like we do. Yeah. Weep. So, are we ready for round five? Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. We are ready for round five. You better be because it follows. Oh. From 2015. It follows? It, it round follows. Six. No, it follows. Round five is it. It follows and round it follows. five. Yes. So, round six. No. Yeah, Marcus. Geez. So, what film is it? What it film follows is it? from 2015. Yes. 2016 yeah. followed from 2015. Yes. What is exactly. The for 19 year old <laughs> Jay. Insufferable. <laughs> For 19-year-old Jay, fall should be about school, boys, and weekends out at the lake. 
at the lake. At the lake. How far is the food? <clears throat> the food is um. Seventy years away. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Mm. But after a seemingly innocent sexual encounter, like how is it? There's no such thing. Yeah, it's an and especially an not innocent in that film, it's not. And there was nothing innocent seeming about it either. No, no, no not at all. She that finds is... herself plagued by strange from visions. The perspective of her. No. Dude, I'm gonna fuck you in the backseat of my car. There's nothing innocent about that. I don't know, that. she's inexperienced. And then tie you yeah. to a chair. She's inexperienced. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm, 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 I'm gonna fuck you in a car, chloroform you, and then tie you to a chair. Who what? knows what the kids okay. are into? On the first Jason, soundbite. <laughs> 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 Who knows what the kids are into these days? They're into a lot. Who knows what the kids are so Anyway, she finds stuff. herself plagued by strange visions and the inescapable sense that someone or something is following it's her. It's not a sense. She it's sees it. usually a naked ghost. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why he ties up to be like, there, see, that's the thing. Yeah, it's that's gonna the thing. Get... It's gonna follow you. <laughs> Your Who wrote ST the demon. summary? I don't know, the marketing department. I don't like it. <laughs> Faced with this burden, Jay and her teenage friends must find a way to escape the horrors that, was that a seem to be only to a few steps franchise. behind. <laughs> now I, I i just i just want to interject this like this is my like logic brain during the movie have an orgy yeah. the ghost will just be so confused the ghost will be so <laughs> good <Jesus. laughs> that's great yeah anyway <laughs> or or other plan have sex with the ghost ah, ah. But nobody tried that. Yeah, oh, yes. like the Sims with the Reaper. No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have a ghost baby. And also, and what just counts as sex in a to the ghost? It's got to follow itself. You know, yeah. is yeah. oral enough to get it to follow you, or do you have to have vaginal penetration? So lesbians you do... and like yeah. bi girls are... who just choose to sleep with yeah. like women are, are we all, safe? Are all the gays immune? No. Yes, they have to be. I, I don't like. We're don't... nitpicking because this movie is legitimately it's so really good. fucking it's so good. So good. I when, it. when it's in the like freaky tall form and oh! steps through the door. Oh! The door. Oh god, I hate that. And then, that. like, on the fucking beach as well. Jesus. Yeah. Like, her hair just that goes... opening sequence is so fucking that, well I know, shot. I meant yeah. with all the friends, but that opening that sequence... That opening sequence with her house. leg Which... is just not meant to point that way. Yeah. And, like, the scene... With... And she seems so weak. Sorry. No, oh, it's so good. I love that opening where she, like, she just runs out the house, and then she, like, runs... A circle yeah. like, and you're just and like, not... what the fuck is going on? So yeah. good. And then, at the end, you're like... Oh! oh. Definitely not cheating says 84. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh, that's a good... Anyway, a good. Kim Newman from Empire wrote, A first-rate horror movie. It follows adds a new monster to the Pantheon expect... Uh, to the Pantheon. Expect pranksters to imitate the follower for cheap shock soon. Yep. And has a refreshing... Weird that it hasn't been. Unpretentious sense slowly. that meaningful subtext doesn't undercut spookiness. It's because people don't want to walk around naked in October. Cowards. True. Okay, mm -hmm. what did you guys say? 84. Oh, I think 84. my food is here. Oh. Hell to the yes. Because nothing makes a podcast no. better than somebody eating. No, it, yeah. that's yeah, fact. Yeah, I take a bit low. It's fact. Okay, 80 from us. 80 from you, we say 84. Yeah. Jesus, Jason and Dion, you guys are just giving away points left, right, and center. Definitely not cheating or closer. The score is 83. Oh, oh yeah. no. Yeah. I knew it was lower than 84, but... <laughs> it would have been a dick move to go 83. You yeah. Should... You should have done... Well, you just did a dick move the last round. No, dick moves are allowed, Jason. No. No, they're not. Damn the paper. I won that argument. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. My mouth is full of Simply Asia right now, so I can't really contribute. Small Marcus, what did you think of It Follows? I fucking loved it. I loved it so Like, much. it's got a definite... What I love about it is the creeping sense of dread more yeah. than the, mm. like, oh, look, it's a scary monster. It's yeah. like, mm. the yeah, the of... monster is there. It's like, but slowly just coming in through a door <laughs> is that, enough. It's, the, it's the that cinema, inevitability. Yeah. yeah. That... But also, like, on the level of the cinema language, what I love is this use of wide shots so that you, as the audience, are constantly scanning the screen yeah. for any, obs like, strange movement in it's the one of the It's one of the things that makes the, um, well, it's the only thing that makes the, what are those fucking, the, paranormal activity yeah. Films yeah. work where it's just that thing where you're making the audience, the audience do the do work so and you're much. making them scare themselves yeah, yeah. because you're looking at every some... time you see someone walking in that movie yeah. you're like 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. It's a murder. Yeah. It's a murder. Also, that Simply Asia smells delicious. I wish we had smell of vision. It smells simply delicious. You must, uh... You must have it smells simply, it simply smells delicious. Asian. No, that's for you. can't run it back, Marcus. I mean, Fine. you can if I edit it. There ain't no hollow back, back girl. girl. It really does. Oh, Round six, six in the tall grass. <laughs> 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 I hated it. Six? Round six, right? Mm-hmm. In the tall grass. When siblings Becky and Cal hear the cries of a young boy lost within the field of tall grass, they venture in to rescue him, only to become ensnared themselves by a sinister force that quickly disorients and separates them. Cut off from the world and unable to escape the field's tightening grip, they soon discover that the only thing worse than getting lost is being found. Oh. Based on the novella by Stephen King and Joe Hill. Mm. Mostly, You're the reigning champ. Mostly Joe Hill. Yeah. yeah, mostly Joe Hill. David Ehrlich for IndieWire wrote, And the tall grass is just a few minutes old before the emptiness beneath it, Escherisms creep up into the soil, and the movie only grows more innervating with each new it's wrinkle terrible. Natalie introduces. Yeah. We say 48. Okay, I'm thinking mid 50s. Well, I've been wrong every time that I've. <laughs> you on been, so you say, beat me last time. Let's say 55. Well, I've apparently been cursed. <laughs> you Sorry. have been cursed. Spooktober. <laughs> Spook no, no. You've been cursed by. You've been cursed by. You've been cursed by Spooktober. Spooktober. It me so bad, Marcus. It's a me. It's a me. Oh, Steve. Coost by Spectre! Definitely not cheating, cheating, get the point. <laughs> the meta score is 46. Oh, Damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's not very good. You guys are doping. <laughs> yeah, we are. It's like in the, my the, food. The, the, the best this, part. This rad watch that you bought me, Jason? <gasps> actually, a smart watch. That's what you said to the simply Asian people on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> they sent it to you in your food little notes. <laughs> <laughs> my cake out has all the answers in the box. <laughs> The uh, the only thing about In the Tall Grass that I legitimately liked was Sam Worthington just being a creep. Mm -hmm. Sam Worthington in it. Yeah. He's alright. That's the dude from Avatar and then nothing else. He's alright. No, wasn't he in the Tall Grass? <laughs> no. And that's where they found him and but cast him in that Netflix movie. He was also in. Uh, <laughs> like, he gets to have a creepy. I saw him in that I he gets to have like a creepy Titans. porn star yes. and. Yeah. Like, it, he's legitimately he like creepy. I know how to eat. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Top tip. Top, top tier pro tip. That's <laughs> what we call a pro gamer move. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, Marcus, what did you say you thought of it? To spay respect. Like the so only shit. part of it that I legitimately <laughs> respect was, 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 was the rest just trash. Yeah, was Worthington being a creep. Like some of the macro photography shots were yeah. pretty cool. There's some, good, there's some good shots. There's, there's some, some good really shots in there. I mean, but Natalie, well. but Natalie has done this type of thing before, mm -hmm. you know, where it's been visually. Interesting, but, but just boring as fuck. And also, fuck. like, it's not even visually that interesting for him. Like, as a director, I was very disappointed. Mm. Sad. And the weird grass cult people that appear were just dumb. Yeah, that was... That was... Hmm? Like, that other dumb movie. Grass cult. Can't remember the name. Oh, um, the one that was... The oh, one that, that you like that, that we all universally hated. Oh, but the one in the island that bleeds and then the explodes. The slowest, most boring movie I've ever seen. And you usually like Slow. And I love Slow. What, I was, know. what was it called? That's Apostle. why I love Slow. Apostle. Apostle. Apostle was the worst. Mom, but supposed to be good. Yeah, no. Everybody's got a stinker. Guy Ritchie. Mm. Guy Ritchie's got a couple by now. I mean, mm. everything he's done that isn't a British crime movie. <laughs> everything he's done that isn't a direct sequel to Lockstock. Yeah. <laughs> everything that he's done that wasn't just Lockstock another time. Yeah. yeah. I suppose you can save the save the same thing for um, Steven Soderbergh. Anything that isn't a heist movie. Mm, that's true. Mm. The sweet sound. Logan Lucky is my favorite of his movies, oh, though. So good. So good. Yeah, I mean, it's a heist movie. Yeah, I know. it's a really, really heist good movie one. It's a really good heart. Yeah. And also Channing Tatum and Adam Driver. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I will oh, take God. that. Driver. Thanks. Cool. Mm. That's all we need. Oh, take Adam it. Driver is in Adam a Driver's political an drama. Astonish astonishingly good actor and one yeah. of the few muscly guys I find attractive, which is important information. We love you, mm. Ben Swallow. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. He is the most attractive Jewish man in the world. We've established hey, this. Hey, hey, oh, hey, 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 He is the attractive Jewish man. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Seinfeld exists, all right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Funny is attractive. <laughs> You, you, you're What's trying up to with defend all these unattractive Jewish I'm guys? <laughs> well, okay, the other one is, of course, that... that is this your boo? The yes. deeply endearing um, uh, guy that plays Flash, Ezra Miller. Oh, oh. <laughs> I have fun doing this podcast without me. <laughs> hey, 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 don't be anti-Semitic. <laughs> Miller is a gorgeous human. No, 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 like, I saw his Vogue editorial as well. Fucking uh, fantastic. However, yeah. uh, very bad actor. So, no, round seven. Actor. It's alive. What's a, round seven's alive? Yes. Mm-hmm. Shit. Shit. Run. The Davies expect a baby, which turns out to be a <laughs> monster with a nasty habit of killing when it's scared. And it's easily scared. Yep. The original killer baby movie. Yep. Children are terrifying. Mm. Children are terrifying. That's why I'm never having any. Teenagers are terrifying. No, no, no. No, but teenagers have empathy. No, no, I mean, I no, mean, they like, don't. no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> Watch like, Alice re- Sweet real Alice. world teenagers, they do, they, they have literally not gotten to that part in their life where they yeah. connect actions with consequences. Yeah, yeah. that's like literally Children like around 21 that, yeah. that actually de- like, so that finishes. So, teenagers. Yeah. I have the, the physical capabilities of adults, but none of none of the the conscience. None of the yeah. Teenagers are the worst. Yeah, yeah. There is nothing worse than a teenager. I don't know, man. Children are pretty terrible. I mean, children are terrible, but children aren't going to get into a car and go drive drunk. Yeah. Also, so I can so I can fight you, off like yeah. twenty odd children. I can't fight off well, four teenagers. Even normal ones, I can fight off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> would you uh, rather uh, fight uh. 16 one year olds or one 16 year old? 16 one year olds. You just one year push old. them all down the stairs. No, I want to fight one 16 year old. You just show them an open circuit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you just show little children a choking hazard. They'll do the work for you. <laughs> <laughs> just show them an electrical socket. That's what Tell I said. Tell them there's candy in there. <laughs> That's literally what I said. Yeah, but you can. He can edit it, so just Marcus said it, and then, but you keep you Welcome saying, I said that, and then people will be like, what a liar! Welcome to being a woman. <clears throat> so, Jed Mayer for IndieWire wrote, It's Alive presents a dialectic of horror in which monstrous excess is first repudiated, then rejected, wow. then returns in form of self-loathing and social stigmatization. Is that my autobiography? <laughs> and is finally is painfully up its own accepted yes. as an essential part of ourselves. Ooh. I have literally no yeah. idea. Guess that Metascore. Murdering baby. I mean, that's a 9.9 out of 10 any day of the week for me. 70? Okay. Yeah, is that good? I don't know. Marcus, how did you like the movie? Like wank. We say 70. I just said 70. Okay, we say 69. Okay, we say 69 then. Oh no, but then you gotta, you have to go one higher, then okay. we go 68! <laughs> you went 69, nice! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, so we, can we lock in the final 68. 68. 69. 69! Oh yeah! I don't know if you get that song. <laughs> if it's 70, I'm gonna be so excited at you! Well, we've both done it. <laughs> then we've, we both fucked up. Ah, uh, you both did, because the meta score is 72! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I did it, Jason! No! You son of a bitch! I'm divorcing you! <laughs> what if I divorce you it's, first? Like, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty great dead. in parts. Ooh. I mean, the, I'm here. like, they basically introduce the, the baby very quickly in the movie. It's like it opens with a woman in labor. And then the next scene is just like the operate the the delivery room is just full of corpses and That's the baby's rad. missing. That's rad. Yeah. So and, and then the, the hospital's trying to cover it up and they're like, no, 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 it can't have been the killer baby. And the dad's like, it's it not my baby. son. It can't be my son. It's a monster. Wow, this is my autobiography. Yeah. Because that's exactly what my father said. No, only after you stopped rowing. Yeah. After you but stopped? But he's got Dion. Um, he's got Dion. He's got Dion. Dion now. Dion Easy now. mistake to make. After he stopped doing what? Rowing. <laughs> Shut up. Thomas had yeah, colors it's good. I know, I know. I, I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> and every time you hear it, it makes you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it does. He did sports well. <laughs> I know. And, and he used, is... to be, used to be so handsome as well. I saw that What photo. happened? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh. I'll tell you exactly what happened. Black sails. Yeah. yeah. It all started going downhill. Suck the life out of me. <laughs> that's that's literally where it all started going downhill yeah. for you. It did. It's exactly the focal point. <laughs> <laughs> it's the nexus of all my worldly God. troubles. No, no, God. <laughs> We met you in Black Sails. Yeah, Maybe I'm did. the problem. You are I the met problem. you at the wardrobe fitting, you oh, motherfucker! Oh, oh shit! I'm the reason <laughs> Thomas's life has gone to shit! Wait a second. I met you when I was at university. That's yes. also when my life went to shit. <laughs> Oh. I met you on the 2012-2013 New Year's, and that's when my life went to shit. I just uh, met you, but my life's always been shit. <laughs> <laughs> a commonality of <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna find, Actually, you're gonna no, look I back. Actually, no, I first met you a couple of years ago at Steven's thing, and yeah. that's when my life started going to shit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's funny, so my your life, life going to shit has been shit. inside me all along. My life fucking rules. Yeah, my life's pretty good. Shh, shh. Marcus, you rock us! You <laughs> kill us! <laughs> I've killed you all. I am Mo I am cinema's greatest monster. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, uh. Number okay. eight, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, this is gonna be tough one because critics hated uh, 1974. Yeah. If we get all of these, or if we get a couple on the dot. Okay. So. The story begins with five innocent kids on their way to check out kids reports of innocent, grave robbing. As we have established. As Sally, her invalid brother Franklin, nice and three swords, friends though. head out mm. to inspect the gravesite of her family, they are soon sidetracked by the ultimate journey of terror. One by one, they wander into the murderous clutches of Leatherface and his trusty chainsaw. The poster reads, who will survive and what will be left of them? In this case, not much. And what is, is, what is, well, becomes the main course. <laughs> and that's the official, that's the official synopsis, the synopsis as synopsis. it is on Metal Metacritic. Okay. And again, like, staff not credited from TV Guide. Mm. God, yes. That man's a visionary. Yeah. And you really do love him his reviews. and Anonymous mm. are two of my favorites. Yeah. Ooh, and no, then... I don't like Anonymous's <laughs> political views. <laughs> too political. <laughs> I'm sorry. His political views are too political for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's too. It's too close to you know the plot of the Joker. Mm. <laughs> I just. I, I know it's a tangent, but we do this. I can't believe people aren't liking Watchmen because it's, it's too polit political. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Watchmen. Watchmen. The full. The, I mean, who who watches the Watchmen? <laughs> like the whole. In the whole premise that would be like saying, yeah, I don't know about the anti-government sentiment in V for Vendetta. Vendetta. Yeah. Well, well, it's, it's like, like the, oh boy, I like Alan Moore, but he gets a little political. <laughs> it's like it's the, like you um, know, I love Game of Thrones, but there's just too much incest. It's like Tom Morello who was like wearing a like anti-government shirt from Rage Against <laughs> the Machine, and people are like, oh, now you're getting all political. <laughs> <laughs> and what? And he's yeah. also he's actually he in a band. Well, not just that. Not just that. Not just that. Not he's, just that. He's got a master's degree in political science. <laughs> He's just suddenly I guess Rage of the Machine, famous non-political band. Yeah. Rage yeah, against in the, name. the Machine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really broke my heart when Martin Luther King got political. Yeah. yeah. And like when, when Tony Hawk suddenly started pandering to the skateboarding crowd a few oh, months back. Right. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Who was it that took a photo with him? When did he listen, suddenly like I skateboarding? Love, listen, I love punk, but let's keep the politics out of the genre. Yeah, that song Nazi punks fuck off. I don't know no, about it, I, eh? I, I, like, why can't we just discuss with the Nazi They're books. just trying to have a discussion. Why won't you debate with them? <laughs> Why won't you debate and on with top them? of that, when did Captain America get political? <laughs> we say 72. So <laughs> Uh, Side I, note, uh, like... I still need to read the review. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> okay, why I was. An intelligent, absorbing, oh, yeah. and deeply disturbing horror film that is nearly bloodless in its depictions of violence, using the age-old technique of suggestion combined with a gritty, well-executed. <laughs> using the you shouldn't go there of actually murdering people. <laughs> <laughs> combined with a gritty, well-executed. No pun intended. Hey. Visual style, the phone seems much bloodier than it actually mm. is. Mm. A lot of implied violence. Yeah, when Tons they tried to it, censor a... it, they oh, were actually shit. shocked at how little there was. Yeah. And implied violence and is it's... what makes um, the that, world go uh, round. That Joaquin Phoenix movie that came out last year so fucking good. Which one? 
uh, wish you were here, or uh, you were never really there. You were never really there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, seventy-eight for us. We say seventy-five. We revise. You said seventy-two. We revise. You're stuck on that one. We revise. You're pissing we revise. on the grave. You are. Well, you're always allowed a revision before. Uh, I know, but I don't like it because it feels like they're like probably going to be right. <laughs> Just. In terms of like historically It feels like speaking. 72, if it was 76, we'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. So you say 78. We say 75. And you say 75. Mm -hmm. Jason, give them two more points. Jesus! Oh! Oh! Late till revisions win it like the Trump election! Oh, God. And what yeah. What did? <laughs> it's, it, it, like of the 80s, of the 70s horrors I've watched, Texas Chainsaw probably holds up the best. Yeah. Dion is giving me a withering glare. I'm really the thing quite with Texas Chainsaw, something something electoral college. The thing, <laughs> there's two things about Texas Chainsaw that just get me. Number one is the grittiness, Texas. the like the look of it. It yeah. looks like I'm watching something. It looks so that, filthy. It looks like a, yeah, yeah. It makes me feel dirty watching yeah. it, and yeah. not in a fun way. Well, and well, what, then like her laughter at the end that is yeah. not the laughter of somebody who's like ah yes i got away that is the laughter of someone who has been broken for life. and is never gonna be okay again yeah. and there's a story behind that they shot that whole thing and she was covered in all that crap and then they phoned the actress and they said we didn't get it and she had to come back in and refilm that in that blistering heat and so on so that laugh is her actually just, it's just lo properly losing yeah. it what jason said like actually killing people like a lot of the times in that movie you're like did that person die? Yeah. I'm not sure. I think so that person the Mad died. Max like, stunts. Yeah. Where, you know, like yeah. where they where he puts it up on that hook. Yeah. Oh. And you're just like yeah. Oh my god. I think that person is dead now. Yes, yeah. I, I do believe if they're not, they wish they were. Yeah. Yeah. And also like Well, I mean you I see some of the shit loved... that stunt performers go through. Yeah. Fucking yeah. hell. And I love the, the just the visual design of the house. You know, all the like gory couches and everything. Mm. It's just so so nasty. So and nasty. One, and, and then, obviously, that aesthetic uh, carried over to Resident Evil 7. Yes. Mm. But, yes, I mean, my, like, the worst part of um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre for me was, um, like, five minutes ago when Thomas cheated. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that pissed me off. Yo! No, I'll no, never no. Forget my, that. I, I want, like, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite part of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is where they wheel out the grandfather. And oh, I think, and I'm like, and that's like, clearly a corpse, right? Yeah. No, and then it's. And then it speaks. They're like, oh shit. But also, he's like, gonna, you're like, I don't want him killing me. He's not gonna do it well. It's yeah, gonna be a yeah, slow, gonna painful be death. Yeah. Where they try and they put hold her like, like nah, over the thing and the they give him a hammer him. and like, oh, uh, I it's. And Leatherface is one of my favorite Pokemon. But like also the other thing is that like complete perversion of what's almost like a Thanksgiving scene yeah. or something. Yeah. It's so like anti American. I yeah. love it. It's oh. and yet so, so American. quintessentially mm. American. Mm. Mm. And the thing is like when you when you really start analyzing the it or thinking about it. The Americans who got left behind. Well, that and the fact that, like, Leatherface is probably the least responsible for the crimes when yes. you think about it. Yeah, from a causality standpoint, yeah. yeah. Mm. He's but just from an actual committing the crimes. No, yeah. he murdered people. No, he does murder people, but, you know, he's, he's a creation of his circumstances. Yes. yes. Exactly. Also, rural American, and like the that the whole fucking thing with, like, the barbecue place. Oh! And it was like, yeah. oh! Like, yeah. This, nasty. yeah. The remakes have been okay. They've the been remakes were oh, okay. Fine. okay, but yeah, there's just it's. I it doesn't need to be remade. No, it's pretty. No, everything. that's yeah. the thing. Like it, it, it's it's speaking to a set, uh, sort of a set of circumstances that are still like as we were talking about in the previous episode. The the way that horror shifts over time and our fears shift. The the sort of the isolation of something like Texas Chainsaw mm. Massacre makes it pretty timeless. But also, there's an echo. We're talking like. After fucking 2016, how many think pieces came out about the forgotten America that voted for Trump and like this idea that there is this part of society that's been left behind by progress? It's yeah. still relevant. It's still relevant Sorry, and just... constantly besieged by 30 to 50 feral hogs. Yes! yes. They're under constantly. attack. We've lost the Americas, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the hogs have taken, the hogs have taken Mexico. <laughs> Born to squeal. <laughs> World is a rut. <laughs> <laughs> the 
world is a mess. It's a pigsty, you might say. Yeah. Uh, round nine. Round nine. Uh, <laughs> one of the most recent Jared? films. Jared. Wounds. I haven't seen oh, it. I haven't seen it either. We saw the trailer for that. We saw the trailer. Yes, we saw the trailer. The trailer. The, the creepy, That's the Hulu it's the, one, right? It's the Hulu Army Hammerlaid horror movie. Yeah. Uh, okay. It looks okay. promising. Okay, I'm down. So, this, it's a very short film. I kept it like the shortest version because I knew I'm probably the only one here <laughs> had seen yeah. the film. That was an adorable sneeze, holy shit. I know. I sneeze like a cartoon mouse. <laughs> Mark it. <laughs> yeah. Tape it up. Market it. That's capitalism. That's how it works. Disturbing and mysterious things begin to happen to a bartender in New Orleans after he picks up a phone left behind at his bar. Ooh. <laughs> That's actually good synopsis. Smart. No, the synopsis, the synopsis is over. Okay. <laughs> I don't even I don't know how I'm going to get this. I don't even know how to get this. The trailer looks pretty promising. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The the lack of local color notwithstanding, the movie more than fulfills its promise to unsettle and incite shivers. Mm. Oh, and no, it spoilers. doesn't quit. Shivers as in like the booze. Helen T. Varongos for the New York Times. Okay. Seventy-one. Dion's gonna murder you. <laughs> He's gonna saying, murder you okay. in the face. If, if, you, if you just said seventy-one, we'll say seventy. Yeah. No, it's cool. Let's go with yours. Okay. okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, so Jason, Dion, Dion, Jason. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. For definitely not cheating. For definitely not cheating. Jason and Dion actually get a point this yes! time. Yes! Well done, you it's guys. Fairly divisive. It's sitting yeah. at a meta score of fifty-one. Whoa. Ooh, now I'm even more interested to see yeah. it. Yeah. Now I've watched. Uh, now I have watched it, and without spoiling, like it is super creepy. Like but. some of the imagery is super creepy, but one <laughs> but so but it's yeah, funny as well. creepy <laughs> butt. There is a creepy butt. Ooh. I think as yeah. creepy as remember. the butts in Midsummer. Nothing. Yes. Creepy. Nothing oh, is as creepy, as, creepy as, as, as creepy as the butts in Hereditary. Uh, Pretty creepy. The only thing I will say is if you want to closely follow the plot, try yeah. and read all the messages that come okay. through on the okay. first screen. Okay. No, no, no. It, the, it's not as. It's a, t it's a pro tip to understand the. Well, because they've committed to the gag. You can't win. Yeah. You can't, I can't win. win. <laughs> round 11. Now that you've been committed. Round 10. Now that you've committed to I'm the game, I'm the one who's bad at numbers. Yeah, just make Get sure you guys like read all the messages that come through on the phone okay, on screen. Sometimes please, it's I'm, tricky okay. because it's I'm, not always like nicely in focus, honestly, but really just, uh, it does. I'm a help. handicapped here because all of this has to do with numbers. Oh shit! Yes. So, so your perfect training of yelling random numbers out is being weighed down by Jason's inability to understand numbers. <laughs> <laughs> to be Look, fair, I don't understand to numbers. Be fair. Fair. To be Hey, we didn't be get that last week. To be, um, honestly, I don't no. really need yes. to know the devil's Disney alphabet Sigal. anyway. So Disney villains. The Sigal. devil's alphabet. Round right. ten, and this one's for Dion. Numbers you know the, the devil's alphabet the created by the. This animals. one, this one is for Dion. Knock knock. Who's there? That's the, the name of the movie. Other side. Oh shit! I've been training for this for years. years. Yeah, the other side. Round ten. I blew it. I <laughs> one shot. You watch all that pressure and you just kind of crumble. Knock knock from 2015. Never heard. Of it. <laughs> that sounds like that sounds like the beginning of an insult. Yeah. Okay. 2015 called in once your racial politics back. Knock knock from okay. 2015. Okay. When a devoted hu yeah, you guys you guys are gonna love the synopsis though. Okay. Okay. Tell me. When a devoted husband and father Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, this is God. the one where he gets put in the hole in the ground and forced to watch a phone on a, on a thing. Is left alone <laughs> for the weekend. He's watching a phone on another thing. No, seriously. Yeah. Like, that's like. Oh my God, yes. Two I stranded young this. women, Lorenzo Izzo and Anna Darmas, totally unexpectedly knock on his door for help. Yes, what starts out I've as a kind this. gesture in a dangerous. What Space results time. in a dangerous. It's like a slow home invasion. And thing. a deadly game of cat and mouse. 
Nice. I've never seen the film, but I've seen images from the film. Oh, it's God. Inside, like, in our team. No yeah. wonder we were just like... <laughs> because... And Rex Reed, which is a dope name. That is that's a really a good... That's a, that's that's a, that's a, that's a pretty good name. That's a big, strong name. name. Rex Reed for, obse- for The Observer wrote. Rex, Rex Reed from The Daily Planet writes. <laughs> because it's written and directed by slick slasher king Eli Roth, oh. expect some Ooh. genuine, well-executed thrills that keep the adrenaline going. A little bit this of- is a good thing because Keanu Reeves has the adrenaline rush of roadkill. <laughs> Wow. That is this, a film that clearly came out before John Wick. <laughs> we say 64. They say 64. What do you guys say for your meta score? What do you guess? Knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? 68. Who's there? 68 Ooh. who? 68 who? Uh, 68, 9. Nice. Hey. Nice. Yeah. Uh, nah. Probably like high 50s. Okay. 59. Cool. Cool, so 59 and 64. Jason and Dion get the point. The meta score is 53. No. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. As long as I don't give any input, we get points. <laughs> <laughs> what happened this time? So, for Knock Knock, right? It's, <laughs> it's, 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 not, great. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. It's okay. not great because, like, you hear Eli Roth mm-hmm. and it's billed as a, what's it, an erotic horror? Mm-hmm. Right, but the sex scenes are tame, and there's no gore to speak of in the film there's at all. There's no gore in an in Eli, Eli Roth, Roth film. Exactly. No. That's exactly. like putting no feet in a Tarantino picture. Yeah. My sister came back from having watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. She was like, "My God, Thomas, I thought you were taking the piss about Tarantino and his feet thing." <laughs> she was like, "It is so egregious. They're the most unnecessary shots just of feet." And she's like, mm-hmm. "Why?" What is happening? Get yeah. your disgusting fetish out of my fucking film. Well, it's his film, so he can put all his fetishes in it. Yeah. It should be illegal. I don't know, I'm considering selling pictures of my feet online. I selling the pictures catch. of your feet Do online. Do you have feet? I have, okay, feet. Exploiting A guy on Ob's Lower Main Road once yelled across the road at me, nice feet. So I selling think I have nice feet. Selling pictures of your feet online is those different the ones to putting them carrying. in your movie and making <laughs> me watch them. Yes. I, I was catcalled about my beard. You told me about yeah. that. Hmm. I get that all the time though. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> yeah. But it's no. usually by like straight cis white men, so. Nice. Like most catcalling. Yeah. No, mine was by a colored lady. I catcall nice. all the time. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, in either the proudest or most shameful moment of my life, while driving to Japanese, I slowed down my car, opened my window, and catcalled a cat. Yeah, I do. I lit this cat. neighborhood and our complex. Mm. There were just cats everywhere and like martin and i every time we come home to the complex it takes us like three or four minutes to get because there's all the cats Mm. because there's kitties and we're like yeah Yeah. the japanese there's a little white cat that's always running around there like from one side to the other so i was busy petting him the other day and his owner came past (laughs) on a bicycle and was like sebastian what are you doing here That's Amazing. Fantastic. So yeah, Love Knock it. Knock is not great, okay. but it is, it's fun in a sleazy sort of way because it's sort of a, it, it's almost like a rape revenge story, but flipped on its head. Okay. Because like, effectively the two home invaders, like sexually assault Keanu Reeves mm. and hold it over him for blackmail. Oh, oh yeah. how is that flipped on its head? Because he's a man. Yeah, but the story's not flipped on its head. The gender. Experience. Yeah, the gender. Yeah. That's, that, that, that's the what gender I meant. norms are flipped on their the head. The gender yeah. norms are flipped. So it's like. Look, when I said we wanted Reeves. equality, we didn't mean that we wanted everyone to have it worse. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. You get what you get. <laughs> but yeah, they they like they come the <laughs> <laughs> like they, com- they convince him that one of the girls is a- underage when she's oh, not, and they really God. sort of like mentally screw with him. God, and it sounds like an to... incel propaganda film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It really it does. Like, it's, it's men's rights. Yeah, this is, this is what the feminists will do. Have you seen do. Big Mouth Season 3? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was thinking the... exactly of that. Oh, oh man, they're Nazis. <laughs> they're Nazis, aren't they? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you went to a Nazi meeting. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, round 11. Cube. 
from oh, 1998. Yeah. That's a cult classic. Yeah, but not, but not a critical. Six diary. people wake up from their daily lives to find they're imprisoned in a deadly maze. Slowly, they discover that each holds the key to unlocking this diabolical puzzle. But as a mathematical Turns formula to escape cube. begins to reveal <laughs> itself, <laughs> the enemy rises from point. within and themselves, and survival is threatened by the same human weaknesses that created the cube. Which is bullshit. There's no... There's no... There's no. The no. cube is just the cube. Yeah. I've yeah. seen all three. The first one's obviously the standout. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like, once again, we're dealing with Natali here. Yeah. You see, director is one of his earlier films. Yeah, it's one Natali's of his earlier ones. Natali's film has a fabulous look, a nerve-wracking, claustrophobic mood, a number of genuinely suspenseful set pieces, and some sublimely stomach-churning special effects. With terrible Ken acting. Fox for TV Guy. Thanks, Ken Fox. Thanks, Ken Fox. Now. Well, I wonder you. if he works with that other guy. Stop uncredited. Mm. I know. Nah, he works alone. No, Staff Uncredited is a man of mystery. By, yeah, he plays by his own. Yeah. I mean, m maybe that's why we're so interested in them. Mm -hmm. I, I think about them. Okay. It's alluring. It's sexy. 61? Hmm? 61. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. We say 70. Jason and Dion say 61. Mm. Definitely not cheating. I like the inflection of that. Yeah. Say 70. Jason and Dion are finally understanding how numbers work because it is 61. Hey! I should have no input ever. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked back quite a bit. Yeah, if, yeah. If, we, if we just hadn't second guessed right, ourselves it all those other times. It's a cult darling. Thing. It's a cult darling. It yeah. really is a cult darling. My perspective is I mean, it's not a, it's not a very well made movie. The yeah. acting yeah. is Time pretty wooden. The, the acting on. is terrible. The angry black man stereotype is bad. The idiot savant thing is problematic. Well, I mean, the, the angry black man stereotype is a um, big result of, what was that trial where um, the where guy the, where the tried police to... got where they beat that guy to death the Rodney no, no, King no, trials where, um, uh, are you black... talking about OJ or no, no, Rodney no, no. King An African American dude um, King. murdered somebody and in his defense for insanity he pleaded that he had been um, overcome by what he called the black man's rage Jesus so oh, oh, you're, so, oh, you're talking about oh wow. you're Wait, Holy oh, so that's shit. where Boondocks got the idea for that episode. Yeah, he literally that's threw exactly his entire the race yeah. under the bus to try yeah. and... Oh. And the Boondocks is good. Yeah, and Holy the Boondocks hell. is fantastic. Like, yeah. I can't repeat it because I'm not of that race, but you know exactly the, what I mean. And then yes. it just it folded itself into, into the white what we narrative. See today. So. Mm -hmm. Yeesh. So. Yeah. What Crazy how nature do that. Going into round 12, Jason, what are the scores like? Uh, we need to get both of these on the money to... To win. Well, to tie. To tie? They uh -huh. are four ahead of us. Fantastic. We've got to do this. So, for no round pressure. 12, one but of my personal... We, we did um, claw ourselves back from a... You ke yeah. Yeah. You came from behind. A... From Stop a... listening to Jason. It, it was... It was a... A 10 to 1 deficit and we've clawed and our then, way back to within and four. then a, a, a strategy change yeah yeah, yeah Jason strategy stops. change i sit back i banter a little bit and then dion comes up with a number <laughs> oh god now we've, we've opened our pit mouths oh god so oh, no. much trouble see, see how i led you to that oh no <laughs> our humorous manipulative son of a bitch oh. one of my personal favorite oh, horror movies Joby's of all time event horizon from oh. 1997 also the most tragic yeah, yeah. We'll, never get the most see, we'll never get to see the hellscape. Oh that man, I so badly want to see it. It really does. Again, <clears throat> classic, but not a critical. The year yeah. is 2047. Two years before, set, set two years before no, Blade Runner 2049. 2019. The year is 2047. No, it no. isn't. Years earlier, the pioneering research vessel, <laughs> Event so Horizon, <laughs> vanished without a trace. Now a signal from it has been detected. A signal from it? Now, and the United States Aerospace Command responds, hurling towards, hurtling, sorry, hurtling, hurtling towards, towards. <laughs> hurtling towards a signal source are a fearless captain, Fishburne, his elite crew, and the lost <laughs> ship's designer, Neil. When As in Sam Neil. Like that, it really is Fish a stupid bird. surname. It's a stupid <laughs> ass surname. Their mission: find and salvage the state-of-the-art spacecraft, 
what they find is state-of-the-art interstellar terror. Oh. Oh. Spoops. Spoops! What they must salvage are their own lives. <gasps> because Ooh. someone or something oh. is ready to ensnare them in a new dimension wow. of unimaginable fear. Ah. We say 63! 58. Um, it's also the form yeah. that's in mainstream media that is closest to Warhammer 40k. You don't mm. event the horizon. The horizon events you. Uh, Mark uh, Sam, you, 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 you got, you got, both teams to may want to adjust their scores after I hear the, okay. after I read this. Mark Savlon for the Orson Chronicle wrote, from its marketing impaired title on down, Event Horizon is steadily churn is a steadily churning debacle that promises much more than it can deliver and ends up drowning in a crimson sea of gore and maddeningly out of place steals from other better genre We're just shoppers. 49. You get that goddamn book stuff out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 59. 42. I'm staying quiet. That's that's <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine, fine. Definitely not cheating or closer. The meta score for Event Horizon is 35. Whoa! What the mother? You didn't guess that. <laughs> 35! Are you That's kidding disgusting. me? That Critics a, that hated that, that, that movie. That is a fucking travesty. That movie is rad as shit. Yeah. Right? And that, the acting is is really good. And the set yeah. pieces are good. And it's spooky as hell. And the stuff of the really design good production is like design. still being ripped off. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean, that anti-graph chamber that looks like a fucking Yeesh. razor blade tunnel. No, that, that sure is, was, no I'm not even going to curse it with that. public yeah. consensus don't yeah. always align. Exactly. And sometimes what? the critics are wrong. Yeah. Sometimes the critics are wrong, but Don't not in the case. Right. The, oh the my God. <laughs> not, not in the case where we agree with the critics. Now we've no, right. got Snyder viewers with us. I hope you're happy. We're gonna get more dislikes. Ugh. Oh and no! You also brought a woman. A woman. Wham Women's in my video games. It's more like there's Wham a woman. <laughs> there are women's in our podcast because round thirteen. <gasps> <gasps> Final round. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry, I said something in my throat. <laughs> and... It was 80s Foley. <laughs> from 1977, Ooh. The Hills Have Eyes. Oh, and this. Yeah. Thanks on the doctor. way to California, a <laughs> family <laughs> has the misfortune like left or right. to have their car break down in an area close to the public and inhabited by violent savages ready to attack. Jesus. I mean... That copy aged well. Ooh. <laughs> like most things. Really and this, I think this is my favorite review out of the bunch that I pulled. Mark Rotter Rana for the Seattle Times. Back from the time when Scream director Rez Craven still made real horror, a family oh! on vacation is this with contemporary a trailer you? is irritating enough. It must be contemporary if it's referencing Scream. Yeah. yeah. Back from the time when Scream director Wes Craven still made a real horror, a family on vacation with a trailer is irritating enough. But okay. then their ride breaks down in the desert, and there's a clash of family values with a family of inbred cannibals. During the struggle for survival, it gets hard to tell who the real savages are. Sorry, it's imagining these cannibals walking around wearing giant loaves of bread. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we say 47. 53. Mm -hmm. I will do 30. I'm feeling low, but I'll do 30. Team Jason and Dion gets the point. The meta score mm. is 64. Really? Oh, we underestimated Wes. Yeah. We did. And you I actually, fucking you love this movie. We did over-underestimate him. I fucking love this movie. Oh, it's you great. You know why? We because Beast is the best Beast boy. Beast is the beastest yeah. beast that ever did Beast. <laughs> he, can, he racks up two kills. <laughs> uh, the dog racks up two kills. I do like Beast. He straight up knocks the, a guy off a cliff. Remake, yeah, we only watched yeah. the remake. Yeah, the remake, the, the remake remakes... is pretty good. Uh, the it's only was problem I have... not what I expected. Yeah. The yeah. remake You're welcome. is like... The it's remake is, yeah. is horrifying. <laughs> and I would say more so than the original. Mm -hmm. But also, like, it's the difference of time and place. Right, it's also yeah. like what people showed and like that yeah. kind What of, you like, could show. What yeah. you could show. I mean, like, in the remake, there's not very much to do with Beauty and Beast, like, at all. Yeah. I think the well, biggest well, thing that dies. happens... 
yeah, like Beauty 15 dies. minutes into the yeah, Beauty dies good. 15 minutes in and gets thrown through the window, if I recall. No, 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 she gets no. gutted She's, in the in the. Can in I the just camera. say, yeah. one of my favorite words in the English language, she is defenestrated, which is to be pushed through a window. Well, no, nice. but this is back into it, so it would yes. be refenestrated. Uh. Whatever. Oh, well, like, on, the original the on this. holds up. Freaking cheating. <laughs> the original holds up spectacularly well, yeah, um, especially because the 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 the, the cannibals mm. are more literate in the original than they are in the well, remake. In, in the remake, they're less cannibals, and more, more nuclear mutants. Nu nuclear mutants. Nuclear mutants. Nuclear mutant. Nuclear. 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 It's weird that they decided Nuclear. to focus focus on that because it is weird. Like in the in the original, there's just one fleeting shot Our of sun was on their side. I know. Like one fleeting doing. shot of this <laughs> area was used for nuclear yeah, tests. Yeah. Like yeah. when yeah. they're they driving them. past. But like this was that whole opening sequence yeah. edited yeah. very seven esque, showing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, the original, like it's it's really good watch. Mm. It really is. Mm. Oh, I still haven't. Like, I don't know if I missed it or something, but at which point do the hills actually have eyes? It's in number three. Yeah. So they've all left to it. In the third mm -hmm. one, which is a. One eye, two eye, three eyes. Yeah. Alright. The hills have a third eye. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, the chakras are aligned. <laughs> the murder <laughs> chakras. Yeah, the mer the murkras. Oh, yeah. God. The Make it stop. Markras. Markla. Marcus? Marklar. 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 Is that also a Pokemon? Marklar. <laughs> oh, it's a South Park. Jesus, Jason. Get I with know. the times. You can't call him Jesus, Jason. That's against his religion. He'll tell him. <laughs> no, it's well, not because no, he has I'm died a and come back. a Jewish man who's died and come back to life, okay? It's true. You're exactly. Yeah. Wow. And wow. You kind of a letdown. And using just a fine powder, I can turn water into Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> just Holy don't shit. drink it. Well, uh, give it to me and I'll drink it. <laughs> okay, but it's... I mean, it's just cherry-flavored water. I do like cherry. Actually, uh, with the whole Jim Jones thing I was yeah. listening to last podcast it on the left... It wasn't actually cool. It wasn't yeah, cool. It, wasn't it was grape drink aid. <laughs> so... Uh, that was it. Okay, so the final yeah, scores So are... we won this game of golf! Yeah! We got six, you guys got ten. Yeah. Damn. Congratulations, definitely not cheating. Thank I'm gonna you. have you on the phone in this for the 13 next, round, the next podcast, round of the 16 score. Hell yeah. <laughs> and um, now, just for, for fun, because yeah, I'm. Bonus. Bonus this round. is probably. If someone missed the list that we posted on Thursday on Halloween of the 31 movies I did watch, yeah. here's a quick rundown up to 26, which is where I currently am at time of recording. Mm -hmm. That's okay. not confusing at all. No. No, they would have already seen the complete list and now they're listening to an incomplete list. It's yes. Fine. Unless they missed the list on Thursday because. They only, yeah, they only check our page on Tuesdays. They, or maybe they're subscribed to us on podcasts. Exactly. So. This month so far, up to 26, I have watched Crawl, Midsommar, Temple, which is really bad. It's terrible. Jesus, oh don't waste your time. Temple. Is it it's, a show like her early life, like where she like, took up smoking at eight? No, no, no. It's a bunch of American teenagers that go to Japan and... Oh, oh yeah. It's one oh, of those. That's that so yeah. bad. Oh, and they're a bunch of weebs and they're all wearing... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> they go there, they're trying to book tickets for the Joker. Yep. <laughs> but they can't because there's a security advisory that doesn't let them go alone. Yep. Aww. Then In the Tall Grass. Which was also pretty crap. Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves. Who's there? <laughs> Keanu Reeves. Terrifier, which is a modern slasher. Uh, yeah, yeah Terrifier's... It's gory. It was just that was just like a cheeseburger yeah. movie. Yeah. It was just exactly. Like, ah, yeah. It was exactly. Just a lot. Rad. Uh, grease running down my mouth. Ah. That would Cube. be the grease paint for the clown makeup. Yeah. Cube, Event Horizon, The Black Room from 2017. I've not heard of this. Never heard of it. Oh, this this is fun. So well, we... basically, ah! witchcraft <laughs> witchcraft <laughs> happened in the 70s in this house, okay. and they somehow. So they summoned an incubus into the house Summoned and they didn't wow. unsummon it, so... I they'd be too big to, like, play house party. Uh -huh. yeah. always, man. They've always had that, like, cool man of the people vibe with yeah. them. And it's basically softcore porn with demon oh dick. God. That sounds like my kind of vibe. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It's it's really bad, but it's it's just like, it's... it's 
It's a B grade. It's a B grade, like, in the best possible way. It's a contender for my bad movie night, which is a thing I do every year on Halloween. This year's is Brain Scan. Nice. Nice. Speaking of which, how are those brain dead, like all the, the early Peter Jackson horrors, like- Oh, brain dead is amazing. Brain dead no, no, no. has I'm, held I'm up. asking how the restoration- That's dead going. alive uh, if you're uh, American yeah. and I, lo- fat. I love the fact that Peter, Peter Jackson did like that whole, um, they will not grow old heart. thing, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. uh, you know, like with like all the film restoration tech, and now he's using that on his like on his old fucking yeah. horror. That's film. amazing. <laughs> There's this like somber, <laughs> horrifying retelling of the First World War, and it's yeah. all respectful, and then I'm gonna use it to make it this schlock. <laughs> right. Yeah. So yeah, so the good. Black Room, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, nice. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fractured, which was the Netflix one that came out in the beginning of the month. Oh. With uh, where the guy loses his family in the hospital. Oh, oh that one. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. like, oh, our family yeah. should be here. Sean! Yeah. Is it good at all? Jason! Jason! Oh, it's worth it a good. watch. It's worth a watch. Okay. It mm. is worth a watch. It does keep you guessing. Tonight I'm watching Parasite. Um, mm. Then nice. I watch. It is not what you expect. That's all I can say. Uh, I don't expect yeah. anything. Trust me when I. I still need to watch it. The Influence, or La Influenza, which is a Spanish. No, that's mm. flu, Marcus. Yeah, influenza. <gasps> no. Fucking uncultured swine. La influenza. La influenza? Veronica. 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 Spanish language, Veronica. but like uh, European Spanish horror Not, film yeah. about a creepy witch grandma. That's all oh, I'll that say. Oh, that actually sounds fun. Uh, I like witchy stuff. I hate the elderly. <laughs> you live in Pinelands. Exactly. <laughs> Why do you think I hate the elderly, Jason? Okay, can we triangulate his yeah. location a little it bit follows. more for the listeners? They're gonna come to my house and stab me. <laughs> now watch It Follows. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good, good, good. <laughs> it's Alive, it the killer baby. Mm-hmm. Watch it. Nice. Lost House on the left, the mm-hmm. the original. Oh, original. Mm-hmm. I am the pretty thing that lives in the that house. That was a weird one. How did that you was... feel about I, that? I, it was I, almost I... like it was all atmosphere. It was yeah. all atmosphere. Love, I love a lot of atmosphere. Don't get me wrong, but it it lacked. And I think it, it, it was the boring. Bonus. It was boring as fuck because it was all atmosphere and no tension. I, like, I gotta it, say, like the first hour or I'm so, interested. I was really engrossed, but then like yeah, and, as there it wasn't went a on, payoff. Was, and then it yeah, and it tried to explain itself. Yeah, it wasn't the payoff, was just... right? So it was like an A twenty four film without the scaffolding at the end to make it oh no uh, yeah, yeah. Not super it was just that. exactly that's the best description i've heard <laughs> all year it was very pretty though and i i would definitely like frame stills of it happily and yes. i liked her ending monologue but yeah eh. yeah then uh, the 17th was more. uh oh yeah on the 17th the 17th movie i watched was texas chainsaw massacre mm-hmm. then i followed that up with hills have eyes mm-hmm. then black christmas yes black then christmas. the original halloween yeah which also holds up so well spectacularly well i just like, remember that opening holy sequence shit. being really spooky mm. it's when really spooky the puts on the mask yeah yeah no you think that's spooky like there's lots of like shots that just linger where he's, like where michael march is just standing in the background yeah it's very good at that, like... He's like he's just, like, always there. It's terror. fucking great. One of the few ones where the reboot slash se- late sequel slash been, read has, has been, been as good. really great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I still need to watch the newest it's one. It's really rock fucking it is, good. It is a rock I think I've seen it, like, six slasher. times now. I mm. absolutely fucking love it. Following I'm Halloween it the with The Stuff. Days. Oh, yeah. What's this? The Stuff. The Stuff. 1985. Oh, God. Is it like The Blob? Kind of. Kind of? Run. Th- like don't walk, walk from the blob. Well, yeah, this, 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 this stuff. I wrote here sentient yogurt. <laughs> yes. That, that's pretty that's accurate. That's an apt description. Like that shitty episode of Love, Death, and Robots? I was going to say yes. that. reminds me of the. Yeah. I liked that series. It's silly. Dude, like, that it's, it's schlocky yeah, it and it's silly. That cool. one. Keen. Uh, then, oh, the original Friday the 13th. Yes. Also the holds The youngest up very of the well. Johnny Depps. Yeah. And the Kevin Bacons is in there. And the Kevin the Bacons. Bacons. Yeah, the I Kevin Bacons is in there too. Yeah, he gets an arrow through his neck. Yeah. Mm. Totally does. It's so cool. Uh, then Eli, which I can't stop talking about, like, watch that movie because it ends ridiculously. Okay. Wounds. Which I still need. Which is... But, which I also mm. say, like, watch it. Uh, but don't expect too much. But don't expect too much. Uh, and then Alice Sweet Alice 
on mm. Friday, yeah, as I we mentioned. We spoke about that last week, yeah. And number 26, which was yesterday, was Scream Bloody Murder. Uh, no. It's a slasher that was <laughs> advertised as the first true gore form, which it really mm, isn't. No, it really isn't. It's just this kid. It, the, it's got a great cold open. The, it's that like, solves this eight year old blonde kid who kills his father with a tractor and then falls off the tractor and it like runs over his hand and he loses his hand. Wrong mm. opening. Yeah. And then it just follows with him. Like then the first half hour is great because he actually commits murders. Oh, then always he good. That's yeah. what you want from a movie about from committing murders. Yeah. yeah, and then he meets this girl and he sort of stops Woo! slashing for a while. <laughs> Uh, but then, because he thinks they always say they'll change. Yeah, they, oh, they always say they'll change. <laughs> I can change him. But oh my God, favorite part is me. Stop. my favorite part is this girl, <laughs> right? She's the they introduce her. She's outside painting. Mm, he classic. walks up. It's in California. She's like she's a manic so, pixie dream girl, isn't yeah, she? No, it's it's better. You know, she's, she's like, there for the moody protagonist. <laughs> just so that, are you here as a friend or a customer? Oh, oh, I. I don't think uh, I watched this through. Okay. I think I fell asleep when I tried to watch That's this. How she how she's introduced and he's like, Well, what's the difference? She's like, Well, customers want to go inside. Friends just watch what just like watching me paint. That's Okay. Cool. Hey. Wow. Hey, hey, 1972, everybody. It was yeah. a different time. It was a different yeah. time. I love so I cannot I cannot recommend uh, Scream Bloody Murder. Don't I can recommend it. like the first. Blood, all that shit is watch, jam. watch it. Late watch the like the first twenty, blood. thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. stop after he kills the second couple. Okay. I I now <laughs> recall falling asleep because I was very tired when I tried to watch this. Yeah. All right. I remember the cold open and I remember nothing else. Well, again, the cold we... open is cool. Like the preceding like half hour. Oh yeah, they also. Like, it, yeah, after the cold open, you see, like, they, he kills his dad, and they're, there's no police or anything. Mm. Like, they immediately shove him into a Catholic crazy house. Yeah. Insane asylum van. Classic. Yeah. Well, again, right, we've well, given lots of recommendations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have. So, we'll see you for a markedly less spooky episode next week. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty spooky. That is pretty spooky. Less spooks <sighs> equals more spooks. Oh. <gasps> Less is more. Drink no, spooky crabbies! <laughs> <laughs>